Hey guys, welcome back for another video. I'm back in the shop again today. And today's project, I am working on my Echo PAS 260. Um, trusty, trusty old machine. I've had this thing for 13 years and I have used and abused it. I've got a bunch of different attachments for it and I use it all the time. Um, but I actually started last year, started having a problem with it. Um, I'll show you here, the primer bulb cracked and has been getting progressively worse get you some light here so it cracked i don't know last year and i've been just kind of nursing it and i've been able to use it up until now but as you can see it's completely blown out and pretty well pretty well done for so uh, for the first time yesterday, I actually wasn't able to get it started, so I had to break down and figure out how to fix it. Did some looking around, um, found some kind of, I don't know, Chinese stuff in, on uh, Amazon that I didn't really trust. And then lo and behold, I figured out that Home Depot actually carries, uh, carries these fuel system kits. So um, it says that it's good for the PAS-225. Uh, this is a 260, but they haven't made the 260 for a long time. Um, I think it's actually a PAS 266 is what they made now. Uh, but I think, just looking at this bulb, it looks to me like it's the right size. So I really don't need the um, I really don't need the um, the fuel lines. Although while I have it torn apart, I suppose I might as well go ahead and replace the fuel lines too because I'm sure you know it's amazing they've lasted as long as they have so I'm gonna go ahead and see how difficult it'll be I don't think it'll be too bad I've never done one of these before but I can't imagine it's too terrible difficult to replace so I don't know we'll find out together ooh that's dirty that needs to be replaced too and actually you know what before before I do anything, I'm gonna leave that air cleaner on there. There, good as new. So let's see here. So I've got four screws on the bottom here that I need to somehow get access to. Of course the fuel tank is in the way. I don't know, I may have to, I might end up having to pull the carburetor off, I'm not sure. So I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen these screws up. See if I can get myself some room. I think all this does is just hold this air cleaner housing on. Oh, you know what? Actually, these screws. Ooh, I think those. I think those screws actually hold the entire carburetor on, possibly. Oh yeah, they do. I don't want to take those all the way off. Unless I absolutely have to. Probably should drain drain gas too, but. See if I can get by without doing that. Heck with it, I'm just gonna pull these out. The carburetor comes off, it comes off, I'll put it back on. This 
so, I just have so much dirt on this thing. I don't want to get dirt in the engine. There it is. Definitely seen better days. It's pretty amazing it's lasted. Well, I guess it lasted 12 years before it started to crack, so can't complain about that. Well, shoot, that is definitely a different size. So, my master plan here is not gonna work. Darn it. And of course, because of the way this packaging is, I've torn it open, so that's not really returnable. Well, that's unfortunate. So I guess I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and locate a different, a different primer, a smaller or a smaller one than what comes in this kit. So I guess this project is to be continued. I'll have to do some more looking around, see if I can find the right primer bulb, and then I'll come back. All right. So it's the next day, and I was able to run to a local Echo dealer. For three dollars, I got a new primer bulb. This one actually is the right size. So I'm hoping I can just slide this baby right back in here. Cool. Got that in without having to take that last screw out. Carefully replace these four screws. And I decided I'm not gonna replace these fuel lines. They're not, they're not leaking, they're not cracked. And that kit that I got, since it's for a a different machine. I'm not 100% sure that it'll fit right. And so rather than, I'm, if I take those off, I'm afraid I will end up cracking or breaking something. So I'm just gonna leave them alone. So I need to get this thing up and running. And then if I decide maybe next spring, I'll tear it apart and replace those fuel lines. Right. There we go. We've got fuel. I should have picked up a air filter when I was at the shop, but I didn't think about it. So there's something else that I'll do next spring. I got a little bit of maintenance to do in this thing. But if I get it up and running for now, that's my main concern. All 
Oh yeah, much better. First pull. That's what I'm used to out of the PAS 260. All right guys, so there you go. As you can see, really easy to replace that primer bulb. Um, I was hoping it wouldn't be too difficult, definitely isn't. If you have one that goes bad, I'm assuming most machines are real similar to this one. Don't be afraid to tackle this project. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video.